All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. I see that people are still joining, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. We are here for the continuing services contract information session. I am Jennifer Link with Project Management. And just so you guys know, just a couple of reminders. If you have questions, please put them in the chat box and I will read through them. I'm going to go through the slides of the presentation and then I will ask for questions. But if you have questions throughout, you can um, send them in the chat as well. So this is for continuing services contracts um, number 44, number 45, and 46. This will be ad number 23357. A contract overview, there will be a total of five firms shortlisted and three of those firms will be selected. The contracts will be for $5 million. The winning firms will be determined based on letters of interest and interview process. This will be a five-year contract. All work must be completed in five years, including all post-design services. The work types, the major work type is going to be 3.2 with the minor work types in the slide. Please make sure that you check the cap for updates to those. All right, so the contract project manager will be Jessica Palmer. The FDOT project manager will be assigned with each task work order. The department designee will be Ed Kestry, and the TRC members for this ad will be Megan Owens, myself, Jennifer Link, and Joseph Fontanelli. If you have any questions for this, please contact Jessica Palmer. Her phone number and email address are listed below. So like I said, the FDOT project manager will be assigned per task work order. The task work order will be assigned to the consultant firm. The contract manager will schedule the meetings and all the due date reminders. When the funds are encumbered by FDOT, the task work order will be sent out to the consultant for partial execution via DocuSign. Once it comes back to FDOT, it will be signed, which um, means that it's fully executed. The signed copy returned to the consultant via DocuSign serves as your notice to proceed. All right, some following dates. So the CSE 44, 45, and 46 will advertise on January 3rd. We'll have letters of interest due on January 17th. We'll have the shortlist meeting on February 6th. Interviews will be held on February 21st with final selection on March 6th. Like I said before, please make sure that you check the cap for any changes. These dates are approximate, um, but they are the best that we have right now. All right, do we have any questions? All right, so one of the questions is, can I go over the slide with the DocuSign information? So basically what happens is once the negotiation meetings are complete, um, the contract manager will write a task work order. We send um, for encumbrance. Once we get the encumbrance back, we send the DocuSign out into DocuSign. So it'll come, it'll go to your firm. You would sign the DocuSign, then it comes back to Ed. 
Ed then signs the DocuSign. Once he signs and dates the DocuSign, you will get a copy via DocuSign of that. Because this is a CSE contract, the um, DocuSign that you get is serves as a notice to proceed because you're going to get notice to proceed on your overall contract. So I have a question, what underutilized work groups are anticipated? Um, so as you can see on the screen, the minor work types are structures, ITS, lighting, signals, surveying, mapping, and geotech. Um, we'll also have landscape on this contract um, and possible um, archeological as well. All right, um, there's another question. Have any specific types of projects been identified or anticipated for this contract? At this time, we do not know what projects will be assigned. Um, those will come later. So I have a question, will the contracts be smart scope? So the overall contract will not be a smart scope, but you may receive projects um, that are smart scopes. Um, this year we had five smart scope pilots. Next year we intend to have more of those. So I would anticipate that some of the projects you're assigned will be smart scopes. Um, we have a, a question, does this contract continue to have no test work order dollar limits? There is a $5 million limit for the overall contract. Um, the individual projects that you're assigned do not have a limit. So I have a question, um, FPID number for funding, that will be determined on the projects that you're assigned. There was a question, any encumbrance under contract for similar contracts? I'm not really sure the question on that. Um, then we have, can we get a list of attendees put into FTP? So the list of attendees and the questions that were asked today will be provided in the CAP. Um, usually within a day or two, those are added to the cap. Um, do we have any UU goals identified? So underutilized um, groups, I'm not sure at this time. Um, we will, I will, I will find out the answer to that and let you know. So the question says, are there any incumbents under contract for this type of contract with Office of Design and District 5? We have several continuing services contracts at this time, um, 43 of them right now. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what you're asking. 
oh, is this replacing an existing contract? No, this is just adding to our contracts. Um, most of the ones that we have right now have been used. Um, we have a few that still have some funds left on them. So this will be just an additional one for the upcoming fiscal year. Any other questions? All right. So like I said, all this information will be uploaded onto the CAP um, once we have it all put together. Um, we do put the questions there and the list of attendees. Um, and I thank you all for attending. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Oh, we got another question. Are there any CSEs ending this coming year with a similar scope? Not one of the 43, but with 3.2 as major scope. Not one of this. So all of the current CSCs that we have right now um, have the same scope. So basically we create a, a generalized scope for these contracts that cover all work types. Um, everything that's advertised um, is added into that scope. Then after you are assigned projects, you basically create a scope that matches the project. Um, I can send an example of the scope that we put out for advertisement. Um, and the scope that's advertised will be the scope that we use for this contract. All right, any other questions? All right, thank you for coming and be looking for the information on the cap.